Here's a quick tip. Whenever you're working with Grid or Flexbox and you're not entirely sure why something looks the way it does, use Firefox DevTools which has some amazing layout DevTools. Let's take a look. So I'm here running Firefox Developer Edition because I need to be on Firefox 65. If you're watching this video in the future, you will have access to these DevTools as long as you're on Firefox 65 and above. I'm over here on this website Grid by example and if you take a look at this website, you can see the navbar over here is using a display flex. In fact, you can see that from the DevTools over here, from the inspector panel, because we have this flex icon. And now as of Firefox 65, you can click on this, or you can simply go to the right, and you see this is a flex container, and then you can toggle this or enable it, and this will show you an overview of this flex element alongside its flex items. That's really useful if you're still getting started with flex or if you're not sure why something is behaving the way it does. And you can see here, this is a flex container and these are the flex items over here. Not only that, you can also see from these boxes over here that we are using justify content space between. So if you experiment with this and use space around, you will exactly see where the space is being distributed. Same thing if you do center or flex end or flex start. And we've got the same helpers for a grid. So if you scroll down a little bit, and if we take a look at the wrapper over here, we can see that it's using a grid. I can click on the grid, and now I can see the layout of the grid here on the right. And you can also see that on the screen itself. This is the grid gap, and these are the grid cells. You can also put the mouse on top of them, and you will see which grid cell this is. And if you're working with multiple grids or maybe even nested grids, you can change the colors of this indicator and that will make it clear for you to understand which one of these grids this one is. That's a nice tool that I really like in Firefox. Give it a try and let me know what you think. And I'll see you next week.